Hello and welcome to Zestology. It's the podcast all about energy, vitality and motivation. I'm Tony Wrighton. We recently moved to a different part of London. And when we moved here, I was very excited because there's a kind of shed in the garden that can be my studio for Zestology. And not only it could be a studio for Zestology, there's a lovely little garden as well where maybe I could record some Zestologies outside. Unfortunately, there's a lot of frenzied building work going on next door. So I've come to the park to record this podcast. It's parked nearby. It's very nice, but you never quite know what you're going to get. Um, some overexcited dogs, uh, kids playing football, um, trains going past and planes and automobiles. It's all going on in this park and you never quite know what's going to happen next. But it kind of adds an element of unpredictability as a a football comes and bounces very close to my microphone. An element of unpredictability to this podcast, which is quite nice, I suppose. And I do record these podcasts out and about anyway, so it's all good. So this podcast is another Zest Hacks podcast. I've recorded a couple of these already, really enjoyed it. It's, um, I mean, the podcast is all about me kind of trying stuff out. Uh, hacks for more energy vitality and motivation working out what works and then telling you all about it and so every once in a while i like to do these zest hacks podcasts tell you what i've been trying tell you what i've been using and then you can make your own mind up and give everything a zest hacks rating out of five as well coming up in today's podcast two separate supplements including a miracle turmeric brand is the miracle my words? Maybe. I mean, you make your mind up in just a sec. So two supplements on the way. A um, couple of different hacks for more energy, including floating and the Ajna light. Um, an album for meditation and mindfulness and flow state. A productivity method. A, uh, a way to help the environment. And something to do on your laptop. So those are the hacks coming up. Let's get straight into it with the first supplement for today, which is curcumin. This supplement I use every day, and I wanted to talk about it on uh, the Hacks podcast because you've probably heard about turmeric and curcumin before and how it can reduce inflammation. Well, I use a particular brand of curcumin, and it's called Meriva. It's a supplement that can lift your mood and improve your memory, and as always, Check with your doctor before you start any new supplement or food regime or anything else. I'm sipping my coffee. So I take Meriva every day. It is a particularly bioavailable form of curcumin and turmeric. In fact, Meriva is absorbed up to 18 times faster than regular turmeric. So there's there's something, turmeric is really good for us. But if you were going to just eat turmeric as a food, in terms of kind of lowering your inflammation, lifting your mood, improving your memory, you'd have to eat an awful lot of turmeric. In fact, you'd probably have to have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it still wouldn't be enough. Meriva, which is a particular type of turmeric, is absorbed 18 times faster than the regular turmeric that you were just about to sprinkle on top of your porridge, and your salad, and your dinner. Curcumin comes from the turmeric root, and it's the bright yellow chemical that has, you see I told you there were loads of trains that go past this place. Um, it's the bright yellow. It's, it's that, you know what I mean by turmeric, don't you? If, it, if, it, if you get a bit on your t-shirt, it'll stay yellow. It'll dye everything it comes into contact with. And it, it's what gives curries that yellow color as well. And Dr. Rhonda Patrick got me onto Meriva. If you've not checked out Dr. Rhonda Patrick before, she's, definitely one of my favorites in this space very passionate about hacking supplements and health from a medical perspective uh, she's highly hyper highly qualified in terms of her kind of medical credentials but comes at, at things from a very natural background and dr Rhonda patrick talks about the benefits of meriva including better memory better attention less inflammation and improvements in mood which i think is very zestology really so um that is the first supplement today and i'm giving that four out of five on the zest hacks rating four out of five for meriva and i think the brand that i use is thorn and let me tell you it's not that cheap and i have to get it sent over from the states so it's not that cheap but it's one of those ones that i think is worth it i wouldn't give it five out of five i don't take meriva and then i think oh my god i can just suddenly remember the complete works of Shakespeare backwards but it definitely uh, is a it's part of my regime 
Now the second supplement I want to recommend is, I've talked a lot about histamine recently, and um, quercetin is a supplement that is not only supposed to reduce inflammation, but is particularly good if you're suffering from any allergens. And I've spoken about quercetin on this podcast before. In fact, I think I might have spoken about it on the past uh, Zest Hacks that I recorded. So before you skip this part of the podcast, there is a reason for me mentioning it again. And that is that recently, for some reason, I'm not even really quite sure why, I took some uh, quercetin in the middle of the night. And quercetin is a natural compound. It's found in apples, onions, and garlic. Again, if you were to get it naturally, you'd be eating a lot of garlic. So, you know, you might want to take a supplement. And I think I take the BioCare supplement of quercetin now. Um, but I took one in the middle of the night, and I slept so deeply. It was amazing. I haven't slept that deeply in the second part of the evening for ages. So then I took one the next night and I slept deeply again and again. And I've been taking one in the middle of the night ever since because I kind of get up. I mean, this is probably too much information, but I get up to go to the loo in the middle of the night and that's a perfect opportunity to take a quercetin supplement. I've been sleeping a lot deeper because of it. And I wonder if it is simply the histamine intolerance or it is something to do with um, mast cells or it's just a great antioxidant and my body really agrees with it. If you suspect that you're one of the 15% of people who suffer from histamine intolerance, I would definitely try this. And if you suspect that you are part of the 85% of people who don't have histamine intolerance but you would like to raise your game and improve your sleep, you could try it. As always, check with your doctor before trying any new supplement regime. I give this a Zestax rating of five out of five. It's, it's been that good for me. Honestly speaking, it's possibly had more impact than any other supplement I've ever taken, taking it in the middle of the night. So it's pretty good. Uh, okay, that's that's two supplements. I'm just, um, just checking. It's very sunny, and the display on my microphone... There we go. The display on my microphone is um, not very bright. I just wanted to check I was still recording, because if I wasn't recording, I would basically be just a man sitting in the corner of the park, wittering on. With, I'm actually on a picnic table, and I've got my microphone, my laptop, my sunglasses, and my coffee cup. My, eco, my e-coffee cup, which has got a long black in it. So life is pretty good, and the sun's out as well. And I'm enjoying doing this Zest Hacks. Uh, next up is something that is going to be featuring very soon in a full episode of Zestology. So I'm only going to mention it briefly. Um, it is the float tank and the Ajna light. Now, um, I recently met someone called Tim who works for U Float in London and I kind of got reconnected with this idea of float tanks. So if you haven't done a float tank before, definitely recommend it. It's a very unusual, relaxing, somewhat trippy experience. It's a big tank um, filled with loads of uh, Epsom salts and water and you end up getting into the tank, shutting the uh, shutting the kind of lid of the tank and spending an hour in there and it's sensory deprivation the idea is that the water is exactly the same temperature as the air so that the kind of the, the air in there is very warm the water in there is kind of lukewarm and you're not quite sure where the water ends and the air begins and you just kind of float around and you feel like you're spinning a bit and it's quite relaxing it's quite nice um, so I reconnected with Tim from you float or I've connected with Tim from Uflow. Very nearly got hit with the football there, which just threw me off my stride a little bit. Um, and I've been to Float, and I give Float Tanks a 4 out of 5 zest rating, uh, and I, I hope you enjoy the forthcoming podcast that I've recorded with Tim. Might even be next week. But the reason I wanted to talk to you on the Zest Hacks about you float is as well as the float tank, they've also got this light called the Ajna light, which I will talk to him about as well. But the Ajna light is a light that can induce different brainwave states. Now there are various ways to do this. For instance, right now as you're listening to this, especially if you're driving, your brain is probably in a beta state of awareness. But later on, when you're sitting in front of the telly or you're just relaxing or maybe meditating, your brain might be in an alpha state or even a theta state of awareness or even maybe a delta state so those are the different kind of general brainwave states there's also gamma um 
And clever people have discovered that there are different ways to induce brainwave states that don't just necessarily involve just sitting down and shutting your eyes, for example, um, or doing something high intensity like driving. You can also listen to apps, binaural beat apps, and you can also now look at these Ajna lights, which is one of the kind of toys that they've got at Ufloat. I have to say, when I've been into Ufloat a couple of times, um, I've done the float and I've loved it, and as I say, I give it four out of five. I've done the Ajna light, which basically involves sitting underneath a, a light, putting some noise cancelling headphones on, and lying there for 15 minutes as you see what can only be described as kind of uh, crazy 70s inspired patterns dancing uh, in front of your eyes. Uh, I mean, I was going to say the word hallucinogenic, although it's not hallucinogenic at all. It's just they're very kind of trippy 60s slash 70s inspired patterns that you end up seeing in front of your eyes. Um, and I went into a deep, deep sleep both times. And I asked to be taken into a theta slate state, which is the state of sleep, or one of the states of sleep, um, and just felt so good afterwards. I'd give it a five out of five. Zest rating. Um... And if you get a chance to try an Ajna light, uh, I think I would definitely recommend it. I mean, quite a few of the hacks have been around sleep today on this Zest Hacks podcast. And, you know, to me, this podcast is all about energy, vitality and motivation. The best way to get that is by better sleep. There's nothing else comes close. You can take all the good supplements in the world. If you don't get a good night's sleep, it's not going to work. And if you get a good night's sleep, all the best supplements in the world aren't going to make that much difference anyway because he's feeling so good already. So sleep is a good one. And if you don't sleep perfectly, and with a small baby, that's definitely me, um, one of the ways to kind of top that up a bit is by a nap in the middle of the day or getting under that Ajna light. How does it work? I'm not sure I can necessarily tell you that's something that you might have to work out for yourself or get on Dr. Google and ask him. But the Ajna light, I give five out of five. Just interrupting this podcast for one moment to remind you that it is brought to you by Ketoco MCT oil. Uh, Pretty much the purest MCT oil on the market. If you head to Amazon and you type in Ketoco, so that's Keto with a K-O on the end, you'll find Ketoco MCT oil. It is 99.8% C8 oil delivered to you in a glass bottle and it's non-drip and non-drip is the kind of holy grail by the way of MCT oils because most of them they just kind of dribble down the side and once you've got it on your clothes that's it you might as well write off that t-shirt because MCT oil ain't coming out in the wash so it's Ketoco MCT oil if you head to Amazon and type in Ketoco Keto with a KO you'll find that you'll find the green powder which has only two grams of net carbs per serving and all sorts of different greens in it, including alfalfa and celery, cucumber and all the rest of it, and only two grams of net carbs and also a collagen powder as well. Enter the code ZESTOLOGY, you'll get 10% off and I'd love to know what you think. Okay, now back to the show. Okay, moving on, sipping my coffee. I've been trying a new productivity method recently. And I mean, this is definitely falls under the energy and vitality category because when I work, I want to be as efficient as possible. I want to work efficiently and I want to get my work done so then I can do other stuff. And I enjoy my work as well, but it's frustrating when you're kind of distracted or you're not getting stuff done. So I've been using Can Banner which uses the Kanban productivity method. And I've written about this in my Three Zesty Things newsletter. If you don't get that, you can sign up by going to tollywriting.com. The Three Zesty Things newsletter, I was talking about this Kanban productivity method, which essentially works on the theory that you focus on three tasks at once and you clear them before you do anything else. Just three tasks. You know, today, the most important thing I've got to do is this. So get this done and then focus on all the other stuff maybe two more things and then maybe just leave it for the rest of the day you probably don't need a fancy app and you could just use post-it notes for this Kanban productivity method but I've been using Kanban it seems fun it's about two pounds a month about two quid a month so maybe about three dollars a month and I am a sucker for a good app 
and Kanbana describes itself as a personal task manager for everyday activities that will help you gain clarity and balance your workload. And what I've done is um, I've set up Kanbana on my phone and on my desktop and then uh, at the start of the day I will write in the three important tasks that I've got on to do now and once they're done you slot them into the completed tray and then you start on some new ones. So it's quite a nice way to get stuff done. As I say the theory is you just focus on three different tasks at one. If you've got a to-do list and you've got ten things on it um, there may be an element of overwhelm or you may not focus on the most important things and I think the point of Kanbana is you focus on the most important things at once. I give the Kanbana productivity method and the Kanbana app four out of five. Oh, the football's come down to me. Okay, let's move on to a, an album to energise you. Uh, the music for this podcast is, you, you might know, um, written by some of the top DJs in the world. It's very exciting. Um, I'm lucky enough to be good friends with Above and Beyond. In particular, Jono from Above and Beyond, but I'm friends with all of them. Jono, Parvo and Tony. And they're three DJs who've been doing it for years and they're just crushing it in the world of dance music. The, I mean, I think for years they were in the top five DJs uh, top 100 DJs in the world when they bring out this list they gig all over the world they're pretty much gigging in a different place every week um, and when I started this podcast um, my mate James who is Jono's brother and also manages the band and also runs the label said uh, mate if you, want the, if you want some music then I'm sure we can sort you out at which point I obviously jumped on it listened through all their tracks and found an amazing one and that is the Zestology theme tune that you hear on most of the podcasts Maybe not on this one, because this is just a kind of an out and about one, but most of them. Um, and Above and Beyond have now got into wellness. So it's a really nice synchronicity. They've brought out an album for yoga, meditation and mindfulness. And it's called Flow State. So they do the music for the podcast. They're now all about flow state. Who doesn't want to get in a flow state every once in a while? The album is beautiful. It's great for yoga. They've been doing these huge group yoga sessions all over the world to publicise the album um, and uh, it's very nice. I give Above and Beyond's album for yoga, meditation and mindfulness called Flow State, I give it, I was going to say four out of five but James and Jono will not forgive me if I don't give it five out of five so, <laughs> so definitely check that out, it might be a nice thing to do when you're working at home, doing some yoga, you're going for a run or whatever it might be. Got a couple more hacks. Um, I follow an Instagram account called Tech Wellness. And they came up with a suggestion the other day that I thought was particularly good. And the Tech Wellness Instagram account is all about protecting your privacy online. And they make the point that there's so much data out there about you. There's so much knowledge about you. And when you use the internet, these large Silicon Valley companies, however much they're kind of helping you on a day-to-day -day basis, they are also taking your data. And um, the guy who, or the, I'm not sure if it's a guy or a, a, a woman or a man, but the, the person who runs the tech wellness uh, Instagram account said, they recently went for dinner with a top Silicon Valley chief executive. And this Silicon Valley chief executive said that one of the things that they did to um, protect their privacy online was to do five fake internet searches every day. It's just a brilliant idea. So they go online and they do five fake searches. So think about something that you're not interested in at all. I think I googled some kind of flower yesterday that... I mean, I, I like flowers, but I'm not particularly interested in them. And then you start Googling and maybe click on a couple of the links that pop up. Look, you know, I'm not anti-Google. I'm not anti-technology. I just want to make it work for me. And I don't particularly want my name and my data uh, as out there as it might be. If I can mitigate the amount of data or, and if I can reduce the amount of data that is 
um, kept about me by various companies. I think that's quite a good idea. And I think that Googling fake searches is actually quite a good, it's, it's just a good way of doing it. It's very, very clever. I've also completely changed my settings, which you can do very easily. So Google doesn't retain uh, a lot of data about me um, and YouTube. But I just think this is quite a good idea. I'm, I've only started doing it recently, but I'm looking forward to seeing if random searches I've been doing about things that don't interest me at all, about flowers and motorbikes, actually start resulting in searches, and it'll be quite satisfying to know that I'm hoodwinking the internet. It's a bit of a niche... Um, it's a bit of a niche hack, isn't it? I think in terms of data, protecting your data, I do think that comes under energy and vitality. Um, and I give it a 3 out of 5 zest hack rating I don't think you're going to start doing it and be walking down the street with a bit more of a spring in your step I do do quite like it in terms of a hack ok um, we have talked about Kirkamin we've talked about Meriva and we've talked about Quercetin and uh, remember that, that Meriva supplement is really good for lifting your mood and improving your me uh, memory. We've talked about the productivity method, uh, Kanbana. We've talked about the float tank and the Ajna light. And um, oh, just, just before I go on to the final hack, I have got a bit more information about the Ajna light because um, it stimulates the pineal gland. Apparently that's actually how it works, these trippy lights that are above your face. So you meditate, your pineal gland is stimulated and it takes you into a different brainwave state. Extraordinarily effective and I chose to go into theta as quickly as possible. Um, and that is basically because I haven't been getting enough sleep and it felt very, very good. Um, right, one more hack. And that is a shop to energize you. This podcast is all about energy and vitality and I have definitely decided that that is not just helping ourselves but helping the environment as well and we've been shopping at a bulk foods shop in London which involves basically taking loads of containers to a shop and filling them up and you could say we've joined the zero waste food revolution and I must say it feels great to help the environment and cut out plastic buy better quality ingredients and surprisingly save quite a bit of money at the same time I think that's the thing that has energized me the most I mean, I estimate some items we're saving up to 50%. It does, however, mean we now go shopping with about 20 different glass containers of varying sizes. But we've been shopping at a place called The Source Bulk Foods in West London. But, you know, perhaps there's a bulk food shop near you. But what are we getting in there? We're getting coconut flakes, polenta flour, loads of different types of rices, olive oil, uh, washing hot liquid, um, loads of cleaning stuff various soaps nut butters there's loads of good stuff in there and there's also loads of slightly unhealthy treats in there too <laughs> I think that the dried apple crisps are pretty good as well um, but the idea is that you are creating zero waste there's no plastic and it's cheaper as well I think the only thing that wasn't cheaper was olive oil which is about the same even though I was taking my own bottle everything else loads cheaper so it is helping yourself and it's definitely helping the environment as well cutting out plastic buying the better quality ingredients um, definitely recommend the source bulk foods in London give that a four and a half out of five zest hacks rating um, and it involves a bit of a kind of initial outlay in, in terms of kind of getting some glass containers. But what we've been doing is when we buy something in glass anyway, just keeping the glass, wash it out, and then put something else in it. So it does feel, it does feel like the good life. Right then, we've talked about Meriva, curcumin, coming from the turmeric root. It's the bright yellow chemical that has a propensity to dye everything, and it will potentially improve your memory, your attention, decrease your inflammation and improve your mood, which is very Zestology. We talked about the productivity method to energize you, can ban it. Um, you just focus on three tasks at once. It's an app, it's a desktop app as well. And if you head to Kanbana, I think it's Kanbana.com with a K, you'll find it. 
We talked about the shop to energise you, source bulk foods in London, cutting out plastic and buying better ingredients. It's pretty much all organic in there as well, which is good. So you know where it's coming from, you know it's good quality, and you're helping the environment at the same time. I'm a big fan of the float tank, an hour's sensory deprivation to restore mind and body. Full podcast on floating and the Ajna light, which I used alongside the Paralight pad, which we'll talk about on that podcast as well and I'd definitely give that five out of five. Amazing experience. We talked about Above and Beyond's new album. It's a 49 minute, 17 track journey of ambient compositions and warm neoclassical soundscapes for comfort, reflection and calm. I don't know what that means, but I do know it sounds very good. And I do know that John Opavo and Tony are extraordinarily talented. I'm very lucky to call them my friends and that they allow me to do the music for this podcast. And uh, do you know what? We'll put we'll put the music, that the, the theme tune for Zestology, at the end of this podcast in a couple of minutes' time to just remind you of how good they are. Um, so that is excellent as well. Flow state out now. And the final hack was, I know it's kind of, not a direct energy hack but it's something I've been doing and I'm quite enjoying it it's the tech wellness hack googling fake searches hoodwinking the internet as I like to call it oh yeah there was a time a while back when I was talking about I was going on holiday a couple of years ago and I was talking on whatsapp with someone about buying a lilo in the shape of a bacon rasher one of those ridiculous whatsapp chats that you never think is going to make the light of day and hasn't until now And then a couple of days later, Lilo adverts started popping up on my Facebook. And I was thinking, WhatsApp and Facebook are owned by the same company. I've switched my WhatsApp privacy settings up to high. Uh, In theory, WhatsApp is a secure, secure form of communication. How are these Lilo adverts popping up on my Facebook? I think it is worth worrying about. I do think that this is something that is worth considering and, um, I may well do more podcasts on it in future. Hey, listen, thanks for listening to this Zest Hacks podcast. Would you like to know what's coming up on forthcoming podcasts on Zestology? Well, next week we'll be talking more in depth uh, about uh, the float tank, the Ajna light pad, the Paralight pad, um, and infrared saunas as well. Oh, and loads of other hacks. So I'm I'm looking forward to that one. Thank you for listening, as always, to Zestology. It's a podcast brought to you by Ketoco MCT Oil, which is the purest MCT oil on the market, bar none, I think. 99.8% C8 oil, and you just can't really, because of the nature of C8 oil, you can't really get 100%, so it has to be 99.8%. And if you use the code Zestology, you'll get 10% off. And I have to say that the MCT oil is running out a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not gone yet, don't worry, but at some point it'll go. And whether or not we get another batch or not is still up for discussion. So, um, Kitoko MCT oil, you can find that on Amazon UK. Enter the code Zestology, you'll get 10% off, which is a good little discount. A couple of quid off. Thanks for listening. Have a zesty week. I'll see you next time.